Liz Arsenault, actor, narrator, and performance coach. It's my intention each week to share with you something inspirational and practical that you can use on your own performance journey. This week, I share part four in a four-part interview series with Carolina Ravasa. If you missed the first three episodes, you can click on the links below to catch up. But this week, we talk about Carolina's indie film career and how each job has kind of led to the next. The more we do it, the more we meet people in the industry and the more they call us for things. And I think it's just, it's a matter of perseverance and having, not, not giving up because some friends, you know, they might give up right. in August and then November's when their break is going to come. It's just, right. it's really sticking with it. Yes. And loving the process, trying to find ways to love what you're doing with, regardless of the outcome, you know, enjoy your friends, enjoy your life. Don't, your, your life's not all acting. We have to be enjoying other things. Um, cause then that, that's when we'll shine more. Does that yes. make sense? Yes, yeah. definitely. Before we wrap this up, I want to hear a little bit about, you've been traveling a lot doing indie films. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about that and maybe what some of the highlights have been just traveling, working? Yeah. Um, whew, a while ago I did a short film in Brazil, which was really cool with a comedian called Reggie Watts. Um, he just wanted to shoot something down, down there and he knew I spoke Portuguese. So he said, let's go do this. And I said, sure, you know, um, I love travel and I love work. So those together are amazing. Um, that's kind of what started sort of the international travel. Mm -hmm. And then I started working with a production company that shoots stuff in Mexico and Cuba and here. And I auditioned for some web series. Um, and I was, I wasn't like, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do a web series. Mm -hmm. I got cast and I did it and it was a great experience. And then from that, literally a week later, I was on a plane to Acapulco to shoot uh, this comedy series with them there. But because I was shooting this web series and they were talking about Acapulco and I said, hey, I'd love to audition if there's any other characters you haven't cast. And he's like, actually there is. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I, if I hadn't been shooting this little web series that mm -hmm. at the time I didn't really know what it was, um, I, I wouldn't have been there with them to all of a sudden go to Mexico. And then we shot this awesome comedy in these crazy beautiful locations on the beach. And I, I'm kind of, I'm the assistant of this, of the main character. And I'm just running around behind her, like taking notes and stuff. And um, I had a ball and Mexico's beautiful and Mexicans are amazing. And then literally there, the director was like, Hey, I'm pitching you for another project. They want to shoot in Cuba. I need you to shoot an audition tonight. So we're shooting dopamine while I'm auditioning for Havana darkness and he's sending that to the producers. Mm. And then, you know, a month and a half later, we went to Cuba to shoot this horror film. And I hate horror. But, <laughs> yeah. but I was like, these are all amazing opportunities. And I want to go to Cuba. And, and it's the it acting wise. It's going as long as we can make it go. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Yeah. Mm. And then also, like, these genre, like this web series and this and horror genre, I'm not into that. But I learned so much shooting horror, you know, about keeping your stamina up. Like, it was the longest days on set. I've never been more psychologically or, or physically tired, mm. but you just keep going. And it taught me so much about where to find these emotions and the anxiety and the screaming and the crying and the running. And, you know, like for me, yeah. even though I don't like it, it just taught me so much about being an actress and, and, and producing constantly, you know? Yeah. Um, you got to, add, you probably got to use some tools that you haven't used otherwise because oh my of the gosh, yeah. emotion. Of yeah. yeah. So I, I, what I just heard is that, you kind of said yes to this project and then you weren't afraid to be asked to consider for some, to be considered for something else, which turned into something else, which turned into something yeah. else. So just sometimes just saying yes to that project and then being fearless. Yeah. If I have a friend who didn't like, who didn't like the script too much of the, of the web series. So she said, Oh, I didn't audition. I didn't like the script. And I was like, I didn't think it was great, but I, you know, and I auditioned and I got cast. And then ironically, while we're shooting, we're changing the dialogue. So it wasn't a set in stone. Script. Not about the writing anyway. It better because we were changing it. So I do think saying, I mean, of course, if you're totally against a subject matter or something, don't do it. But mm -hmm. for me, it was, you know, three days on a set doing something. And I, and I love the production company. So I, for me, it was just uh, connecting with new people, with more people. And from there, I've made friends and met other producers. It's just, I feel like every job, no matter how crappy it is, because mm -hmm. this is true, I've made at least one awesome friend that I've kept in touch with, or somebody saw me acting there and then called me in for something else. So I feel like one, one jobs always lead to other things, mm -hmm. you know? Great. Um, you have to be, you have to have an open heart to that kind of stuff. Absolutely. I love it. 
Great. Thank you so much. There's so many great little nuggets that you just shared with us. Um, <laughs> awesome. Where can we see your work? And um, if people want to catch one of the cons that you're in coming up or just tell us about where we can see you. Well, my website's always updated with um, my, my update, updated reel and anything that's worth sharing. It's carolinaravasa.com. Um, but I'm more active on Twitter now because fans ask questions and, and I'm sharing photos and stuff. So on, on Twitter, I'm also Carolina Ravasa. Great. My Instagram is just Ravasa. Um, I'm, I'm trying to always keep posting yes. stuff of what I'm doing. Yes. Um, They're telling us. And, and then the conventions, uh, I mean, I'll put those on Twitter, but I'm going to Houston in April and uh, Canada is going to be in June. So it, there's still a while for that, but um, mm -hmm. That's yeah, awesome. I, I update stuff constantly on, on, on all my so social media platforms. Great. I will link it all here with this video. So it'll be down below. Check it out. And um, awesome. Anything else? Thank no. you. So much. Thank you so much. I mean, Thank you. and I think what you're doing now is also amazing because it's, it's spreading the word of, uh, about how, how all of us go about doing our, our career. And there's no, there's no point A to point B, you know, it's like everybody does their own little path and I'm doing a web series. Other people are doing one woman shows. You're doing this incredible video podcast. I don't know what to call it. Um, you know, and, and, and no, really that's, that's amazing. And, and connecting and all, and you ask me for advice. I ask you for advice. We hook each other up with jobs. I think that that's, that's how it has to be, you know, generosity. Yeah, I feel like generous actors are working the most and just having fun too. It's great to not feel there's less fear when you can just give. Yeah. yeah. And also knowing that the job as, as crazy and as, um, I'm putting my work about it. <laughs> first thing. I think that, um, what's meant to be your job, it will be your job. You know, if you and I, if I recommend you for a job and they choose you over me, I, I think that it, it was just meant to be, you know, sure, sure. because we're right for some things and not for others, even though we like to think we're right for everything. Of course. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Um, so. That's awesome. So that's that. Thank you for thank this you, episode. thank you, thank you so much. Awesome. I will put all those links below and yay. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much.